Major League Baseball's first female coach is on a mission to make baseball for all. When I walk on the field and there's male baseball players and they've never seen a female coach, a lot of times it's sort of shock and who is this girl? But once they see me in action, they get to know me, I'm always just become a part of the team. Justine made baseball history in 2015 when she became Major League Baseball's first ever female coach. I first fell in love with baseball when I was 13 and my coach decided that I should quit baseball because I was a girl. And that was the day I decided I would play forever. So I caught pitch, played shortstop. I was really one of the best players in the league. When I decided that I wanted to become a baseball coach, my coach laughed at me and said no man would listen to a woman on a baseball field. And I just decided to prove him wrong. Justine had to break down barriers at all levels of the sport, changing people's attitudes towards women in athletics. I asked the A's for four years before they said I could become a coach. There were plenty of times I thought about quitting, but instead every year I thought about how could I make myself more qualified so that they couldn't say no to me. It was the most incredible experience in the world to know that I was gonna go put on an A's uniform and become the first woman to coach. I didn't grow up with female sports role models, and that's why I know it's so important for the girls of this generation to have them. Which is what led Justine to found Baseball for All. Baseball for All empowers girls to play, coach, and lead in baseball. And my goal is that every girl who wants to play gets their chance to play. And for girls like Charlie and Jamie, the nonprofit has made a world of difference. Girls can be just as good as boys. It feels pretty great just to be able to come out and play baseball with my friends. The lessons these girls are learning extend far beyond home plate. I think just because you're a girl, you shouldn't be underestimated and that they should be given the equal right to prove themselves. These girls all know that they're a part of something much bigger than them. It's time for equality to happen at all levels in sport. When we tell a girl that she can't do something because she's a girl, that's a social justice issue. We need girls to know that they can do anything that they're passionate and willing to work hard enough for.